How come that Tesla, which never designed a chip before, managed to design the best chip for autonomous driving application? And is it really the best one, or we should take it with a grain of salt? Hi friends, if you are new here, my name is Nastasia and I am a hardware engineer. And in this video I will be discussing the Tesla chip hardware, what is so special about it, and I will be comparing its performance to its main rivals on the market, Nvidia and Intel chips. Which one is really the best? So, back in 2016, Tesla was looking for a chip which would enable fully autonomous driving, and there was none. So, they've decided that they could do better than the market offers. Basically, they've decided to design their own SoC from ground up. Tesla's goal was to create a chip which is fully optimized for the way they implement autonomous driving and to write the software to work on this optimized hardware to get the most out of their autonomous driving system. We can see it as a sort of a trend nowadays that more and more companies like Tesla, Apple, Google, Amazon are going away from off-the-shelf components and design their own chips to win the best performance for their products. Some days ago, Elon Musk tweeted that the next AI Autonomous Day event will take place in about a month. And I think they may announce the next generation of their full self-driving chip there. But this I will be covering later in this video. At first, let's have a closer look at the Tesla's chip hardware and what is so special about it. Essentially, this chip is a car's brain. The data collected from eight cameras, ultrasonic sensors, radar, accelerometers, GPS is processed in the chip to steer the car on the road. It is interesting that their FSD computer contains two instances of their chip. It is done for redundancy and the Tesla's approach here is kind of revolutionary. At first, redundancy at hardware level is absolutely necessary for autonomous driving. It essentially means that all the safety critical systems shall be doubled to ensure backup in the unlikely case of failure. Tesla's FSD computer actually consists of two fully independent computers placed on one PCB, on one printed circuit board, and each of them got their own dedicated power and a memory. So, the information collected from all the sensors is analyzed by each chip independently. Each of two chips decides the plan, and assuming that their plans agree, they drive the car accordingly. It is important that their actions are continuously validated based on the information from multiple sensors. By the way, redundancy on the sensor side is also essential. Information from multiple sensors must agree. Tesla's chip is fabricated in 40 nanometer thin fat Samsung process, which is pretty advanced for a typical automotive SoC. This is the layout of the Tesla's chip. This chip is an SoC, system on chip. It consists of CPUs, GPU, neural processing units, as well as a bunch of other hardware integrated in one single piece of silicon. It incorporates three quad-core Cortex-A72 clusters, which means a total of 12 ARM-based CPUs. So actually their chip utilizes an advanced RIS machine architecture running at 2.2 GHz. As you can see, about one third of the chip's area is taken by two large identical NPUs, so neural processing units. NPU is designed to accelerate the neural network processing, including all the arithmetic and control logic which is necessary to execute machine learning algorithms. You can see here the layout of Tesla's NPU block, which includes the matrix multiplication unit, or here it's called MAC, multiplier accumulator unit. Then it's got local SRAMs and control logic. Each NPU packed with 32 megabytes of SRAM designed for storing temporary network results and reducing data movements to main memory, which in turn reduces the overall power consumption. Single NPU has a peak performance of 33 trillion operations per second, so-called TOPS, which gives in total 144 TOPS 
for both chips. This chip got 8 GB of high bandwidth, low power LPDDR4 memory. So eventually this chip is capable of processing 8 full HD screens at 60 frames per second, which is exactly the number of cameras they feature in their cars. And internal data flow is reaching 68 gigabits per second. At the presentation of the Tesla's chip, Elon Musk claimed that this is the best chip in the world for the autonomous driving. And actually, it was taken with a grain of salt by the experts. So now let's dig into the numbers and compare its performance with its closest rivals, which are done by Nvidia and Intel. Before Tesla designed their own chip, they were using NVIDIA PX2 chip to implement their autopilot. So Tesla themselves at the presentation used PX2 chip to benchmark against their own SOC. However, in the meantime, there are new generation chips out like Xavier and Pegasus from NVIDIA as well as Intel Mobileye Q4. So I will compare it to these chips as well. According to Tesla, their chip, running full autopilot stack, dissipates maximum of 72 watts, out of which 15 watts are consumed by NPU. And their chip is capable of performing 144 trillion operations per second. Just an interesting fact, human's brain is capable of performing about 1000 tops per second, so they're actually getting closer. Now, the previous Tesla's hardware, NVIDIA PX2 chip, was capable of 24 tops while dissipating 57 watts. The newer version Xavier performs 32 tops at 50 watts power consumption. Actually, more interesting and fair comparison here is to the new NVIDIA Pegasus, which supports the full autonomous driving. The Pegasus chip does 320 tops at not impressive at all 500 watts. Finally, the Intel Mobileye Q4 chip is capable of performing 2.5 tops while consuming 3 watts of power. From this comparison, we can conclude that the Tesla's chip delivers the best performance per watt. The chip provides such a performance uplift over the prior generation while raising the power only by just 25%. What is also interesting that Tesla claims that the development of their own chip costs them 20% cheaper compared to the supply by Nvidia. So they've managed to do a better chip and kept margins to themselves. Now Tesla continues to work on the next generation of their chip, further optimizing their hardware and software to achieve the best performance for their autonomous driving feature. Actually, the new generation was expected to be released in the second quarter of 2021, however, there might have been some slowdowns due to pandemic. It's been announced that the new chip will be done in 7 nanometer FinFET technology by TSMC and it's expected to be at least three times more powerful. Hardware 4 will be aimed to further improve safety. Tesla probably will use newer CPU version like Cortex A75 and may upgrade the memory to LPDDR5. I also expect further improved NPUs with even larger SRAMs, thus even more tasks can be overtaken by NPUs and then smaller GPU will be sufficient. Tesla will be holding AI Autonomous Day event in about a month from now and I expect they may announce the new generation there. According to Musk, the chip will enable the level 5 autonomy by the end of 2021, which means that their chip will be capable of driving the car anywhere under any conditions with no need for human interaction. That's actually a really big claim, because the Tesla system is not level 3 autonomy yet. The key to getting that magic level 5 autonomy involves transforming Tesla's neural network to your surround view camera footage and then automating the processing of this footage. So this is really, really exciting. For sure, I will be covering new Tesla's chip in one of my future videos, so stay tuned!
So guys, I'm very excited to see what Tesla will implement in their new chip, in their hardware 4, and if they will be able to push the state of the art. In general, nowadays, the trend is that large companies like Tesla, Apple, Google, they're going away from general purpose of the shelf chips and designing their own specialized and optimized SOCs which give them even more competitive advantages. By the way, I expect that in the near future only other large automotive companies will be designing their own SOCs. Uh, what do you think? Do you see this trend happening? Let me know in the comments below. And there is actually another exciting chip which came out last year and was revolutional in some ways. Apple's M1 chip. And I have a very detailed video on its hardware explaining how it works and what is so special about the M1 chip. If you're interested, check it out right now. I will link it here. And don't forget to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week in my next video. Ciao!